Should we stop changing our clocks twice a year? A growing number of lawmakers do seem to think so. We have definitely seen the efforts here in our state to stop that changing clock rituals, and our representatives in D.C. are also considering it. In a little more than a week, most of the United States will go through a dreaded ritual, changing the clocks ahead an hour for daylight saving time. And it seems like just as you're getting into that pattern, here we go again and we change again. But on both the state and national levels, efforts are underway to do away with changing our clocks. One has to ask themselves after a while, why do we keep doing it? Why are we doing this? U.S. Senator for New Mexico Martin Heinrich reintroduced the Sunshine Protection Act Thursday. This bill has bipartisan support and is led by Republican Senator Marco Rubio of Florida. It would keep the U.S. on daylight saving time year round. Today, daylight savings time, which started out as six months, uh, was extended to eight months in 2005, clearly showing you where people's preference were. Senator Rubio's bill unanimously passed the Senate last year, but it stalled in the House, so the process has to start all over again. Here in New Mexico... This is my fourth time for daylight saving time. State Senators Cliff Pirtle of Roswell and Roberto Gonzalez of Taos introduced competing bills to end changing our clocks. Gonzalez's bill would keep New Mexico on standard time year round. His bill has not moved an inch in the Senate, but Pirtle's bill would keep New Mexico permanently on daylight saving time. And the vast majority of people that message me, that's the time that they prefer. You know, I, I say all the time, summertime all the time. That bill cleared its first hurdle in the Senate and is with the Senate Judiciary Committee now. Will there be a day when we can stop changing our clocks twice a year? Only time will tell.